All right, I think you guys are gonna enjoy this one. I just threw all these discs into that field and measured them all. So stay tuned to see what my max is right now. Oh yes, come out of it. Oh my God. Come on, push baby. I need some field work. I've been doing a lot of work with the tech disc, been stuck inside for a long time. My distance game isn't quite as good as it once was. So, I have this many destroyers in different stages of wear, this many halo destroyers in different stages of wear, and this many wraith or flippy discs. I got a pharaoh in there, I got some millennium falcons in there, I got some really beaten scorpiuses in there. And we're going to have a little field work session where we just throw high speed drivers. You can see it's a freaking beautiful day out here. So I really wanted to get out and do something. Um, yeah, so let's start with the stable boys, I think. We got an X-Cal. I've just barely warmed up. So these first, you know, so many throws are just going to be kind of warming up, getting these discs out there. That's why I'm starting with the stable guys. They're probably going to go the least far, obviously. So, we're just going to act like we're on the course and we're trying to hit this pile of rocks right there in the middle. You can see I'm going to dink that pile of rocks. A little bit short. That was an X-Cal. You know, this video is also good if you don't know how these discs fly. I got a bunch for you. So, that was a Champ X-Cal. This is a Halo Juggernaut. I think it's a pretty new disc from Innova. Extremely stable, like a distance Firebird. It is a beefcake. So I don't expect this to go far, but we're gonna throw it flat. <clears throat> Look at it. Holy, that thing is stable. Literally knifed into the ground. All right, we'll go Halo Destroyer F2. This run is pretty stable. I think I have another one of these that I've thrown before. Domey, but stable. Probably won't see much turn out of this. Oh my gosh. Okay, that went really far, actually. You can see we're within the circle on that pile of rocks, kind of where we're aiming for with these stable guys. This is a Halo Emperor. Exact same mold. These are pretty good, they're pretty stable. They're probably similar to that Halo Destroyer I just threw. We're gonna try to give this one a rip, hit the rocks. Put some flex on that, I think we might pass the rocks. You know, that's probably within 35, 40 feet. And then a Halo Scorpius. Scorpius, Destroyer, and Emperor are all the same mold. This one's domey, and I remember it's not quite as stable as those Halo guys. So we're gonna get this one a tiny bit of hyzer here. Start working on our hyzers. Yeah, she flipped up mid-flight. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna destroy some discs throwing into these rocks, but you know, discs can be rebought. Um. I wanted to get a good field work session in, and this is in the convenience of my home. So that's what we're doing. All right, next up, F2 Champ Destroyer. It's a regular old champ boy. I think this might be Champion Glow. So I'm gonna have to get the hyzer angle right because I've been throwing those halos. I need to learn some of these discs and test some of these discs and see what flies really good. Yeah, it's like 470. Uh, Metal Flake Champ Destroyer. Figured this video might be good just because I have a bunch of different kinds of destroyers from testing. So if you are wondering how a destroyer flies, you could probably find out in this video. <clears throat> Flip up, and yeah, I think it's stable. Okay. So file that under the stable boy category. I'll get all these distances for you guys. Um, 
Maybe I'll just get the super long ones or the longest ones in each category. This is just a regular old Star Destroyer. I remember this run being pretty stable, but this one has been thrown a few times. It's a little beat up on the bottom. Expecting a little flip, I'm gonna throw it just like I just threw that metal flake one. A little low there. Oh, it had such a good flight if I would've just put it in the air. It's all right. Actually, I think this is the Champ Glow. I'm not mistaken. The last one was just Champ. No, this one's like really reflective looking. So I don't know exactly what it is, but we're gonna throw it. Same way we've been throwing these and see how stable it is. Don't go in the water, please. Come back. I think we're past the water. Wow. That's pretty far, I think. That one's pretty flippy. I think I put a little bit of Annie on it. I'll check the video. I might still the frame of my release so you guys can see the hyzer angle. This is an old school, I think it's a first run. Um, I'm not sure if it's first actually, it's penned SSRP. It's a very old Scorpius and it's in this like swirly halo-y plastic. This thing is flippy if I remember correctly and it feels so good I don't really want to destroy it but shit happens. All right, a lot of highs are on this one. Yeah, look at that flip. I thought it might flip even more, but it held up okay. All right, this is Champ Champion Emperor. You can get these in a bunch of different things. The Halloween ones are my favorite, um, but this is like an event one for the Snake River Championship. I kind of know how this flies. It's a pretty basic destroyer flight, so a little bit of hyzer and let it rip. Oh, baby. Go, go, go. Okay, that is like 485, 490, I think. The wind is pretty light today. I think it's a slight right to left. Um, we, almost, we almost never get a tailwind here because of the way the mountains are, I guess. But it's almost always a headwind, and sometimes it's right to left or left to right. This is a super old school... Um, Bare Bones, the Jewel 6 from 2021. It's a Champ Destroyer. I got it when I was in Phoenix, Arizona at a shop there. So shout out. I don't remember how flippy it is. I think it's pretty stable. <sighs> Throw it way too high and it's very stable. Holy. Might have just been a bad rip for me. All right. Swirly Star Emperor. This one's a little beat up. These beat up really nice and have a lot of flip to them. So I gotta put a lot of hyzer on this, which I haven't been doing with these discs, so I might get it wrong, but I'll try my best. Put it kind of high on a bit of hyzer. Come back. All right, I think we got to the edge of the pond there. I hope you guys can see the ones that are going that way. I think you can. Another Champion Emperor. This is an uh, Infinite Disc run, I think. Yeah. Just a uh, Infinite Disc bomber stamp. This should fly just like the other one, which flew really nice. This is my favorite destroyer. Put it nice and high. Let it glide out. It's kind of dropping from the wind, I think. But good rip. Kona Panis. I blend Emperor. These ones are pretty famous for being really good bombers, but this one is brand new. I think they start slightly stable and beat in to Flippy. So we're gonna smoke this one on just a little bit of hyzer. Maybe not quite as much height as the last one. Oh yes, come out of it. Oh my God. Come on. Push, baby. Oh, I can't wait to measure these. As you guys can see, my net practice with the tech disc seems to be paying off. Uh, I don't know how far those are just yet, but I'm hoping we can break 500 today. Past this uh, 
bench with the rocks. It's pretty much level ground with my porch. Goes down, then back up. Um, so yeah, it'll be very low wind, level ground. I'll give you guys the numbers and see what we hit. Oh, this is a Ricky two time. I'm sure you guys have seen this one. I think it's known as being a beef dog. So I'm gonna rip it a little less hyzer and put some heat on it if I can. <clears throat> okay, I did put some heat on it, but holy, I need to put that high. Oh, that one is in the lake. All right, more hyzer on that disc. I thought it was kind of a beef dog, but it turned out to kind of not be. All right, now we got the flippy boys where I think if we hit them right, we can get really big distance. I'm gonna throw the wraiths first because they're the slowest. Um, probably will go the, le the least far, I would guess. We got a, quite a few wraiths here. Wraith, wraith. I think this is a wraith too. This is a charger. All right, so we have four wraiths. I'll throw the most beefy one, they say, first, the Halo Wraith. It's just an F2. It's a good run. From what I remember, it's pretty flippy for a Wraith. Well, it's just pretty flippy. A Wraiths are flippy for me. So that's just where we're at. A little lift there. Wow. I, I, I think I'm crushing these today. I can't wait to go measure them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're shitting on them, boys. Star Wraith. Actually, let me throw the champ next. It's probably the, the next most stable. They're domey. They're F2s. So they should turn a lot, but have a good glide to them and come back if I get the angle right. <clears throat> Keep turning. Oh. It's a little more stable. I put it super duper high. That's just a little too high for the power level I put on it. One more chance at that. Okay, a little flatter, same height. Okay, that was not the same height and it was flatter, so you see what happens. <laughs> Roller. Actually, why I don't bag race? Just if I hit them just right, they are a little flippy. All right, next we're going to throw, actually, let's go with the next flippiest. This is a very beaten Millennium Falcon. So they're serious plastic. Um, I love Falcons. When I threw less hard, like 450-ish, my absolute favorite distance disc was a Falcon. Now I throw a bit too hard, so I'm going to put these high on some hyzer for sure. Um, and yeah, I just got to remember what the stability of all these discs are. But these are the ones that can go really far if we hit them right. A little too high. You can see it kind of stalled at the end. That's not very far. Next, we're going to hit up these two. I have two serious Falcons. These are run 1.4. Um, I don't remember how flippy these are. I think they're close to that Falcon. So same thing, a little less high. Okay, that was awful. I mean, it might go far, but it was just way too high. You can see I'm losing a bunch of distance at the end of the flight because I basically stall it out. Um, that was just a misrelease, so we're going to try to take it down. I'm trying to throw too hard. Stay relaxed. You know what to do. It'll go well. Come back. Wow, it's turning a lot. Oh, great throw. Needed a couple feet more height to get back. All right, we have, is this the last one? Oh, we have one more Wraith. Star Wraith. Here we go. Kind of high. Let her fly. Come back. Oh, the wind just dropped it like 10 feet. It was about to be an absolute bomb. If it got lift there, man. All right, we have... An Infinite Discs Pharaoh. This is the Halo. This is the Erica Stitchcomb run, I think it's called. And uh, I don't know how this flies. Also, I'm feeling a slight headwind. Um, I don't know how. I'm just going to put it kind of high and throw it like a wraith, I think. <sighs> oh. 
Okay, that thing has got to come back. Yep, get some lift, baby. Okay, that thing is crushed. We might be bagging some Pharaohs. This is a first run Millennium Falcon. Serious plastic, I think. Um, SSRP Pen F. These are the sickest. They're super flat, usually. And uh, they're pretty flippy. This is a 167. So I don't have high hopes for this. It's going to be crazy flippy. But we need to start learning our distance lines anyways. How we get them high. Let them pan over for a long time. So I'm going to try to put this high out left and let it just float right the entire flight. Put some power on it. Oh, it's too low. Oh, look how good it panned. Man. All right, too low, too low. We have two more. This is my favorite disc in the world. GK Pro. First run. Millennium Falcon. Basically board flat. My favorite forehand disc. It's just board flat and goes crazy far. Um, it's flippy on a backhand because it's so flat. Basically flips super early. So I gotta figure out how to put this really high. I think my arm speed is just too high for it at the moment. Cause it's pretty, pretty beat in. My favorite driver for a long time. Oh. That was too low. Man, that flight is so delicious, man. Whoo, hit the pile of rocks there. We're getting tired. It's the last throw. This is a an Innova Charger. I've actually never really thrown these. I think they're basically just Falcons. This one has some dome to it. So I need to get these higher because these last two, I think, have been just too low. Also, I think I'm just getting tired. <sighs> Flip. Too high. Damn. That thing did not have a leg on it. I must not have got a good rip on that. Anyways. That's the video for today. I got to go in this muddy lake bed and measure these. I'm going to grab the measurements, go in, edit this video up, and then I'll post the measurements under each throw if I can. Um, maybe I'll just leave out the really crappy ones that I kind of threw too high. But thanks for watching and peace.